Let us go through the following examples. The first one says, One of the following is the correct combination of SI units of electric field. One of the following is the correct combination of SI units of electric field. So these are the options. So the correct option there is B, volt per meter or newton per column. Question 2. Assuming the electric field is given by 100 newton per column, find the value of the magnetic field. Take C to be the speed of light in the vacuum. Of course, we know that this is a constant, and it is usually given by 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. These are the options. So when you pick the correct expression and then simplify it, you get option C as the correct answer. How did we get that? We use the expression E equals to CB. So E there represents electric field and C is the speed of light, B is the magnetic field. Since we were asked to find the magnetic field, we make this expression the subject, so we will have a new expression, B equals to E over C. Then from this expression, we now substitute the values that was given in the equation. So for E, we substitute 100 for C, we put the constant for the speed of light. When you divide this, you will get the correct option, which is option C. Let's move to the third example. One of the following is produced by radioactive decay. One of the following is produced by radioactive decay. So we have X-ray, visible light, gamma ray, infrared. The correct answer is gamma ray. Question 4. Which of the following is not a vacuum tube device for producing microwaves. Which of the following is not a vacuum tube device for producing microwaves? Klystron, magnetron, gun diodes, cyclotron. The correct answer but the correct option is option D. So the rest can be used to produce microwave apart from option D, cyclotron. Question 5. The following are properties of electromagnetic waves except one. The following are properties of electromagnetic waves except one. They are transverse waves. The wave travels in a vacuum with a speed less than that of light. Electromagnetic wave require no medium of propagation. They can be plane polarized. So the correct option here is 
option B. Question 6. A power line has a frequency of 60 Hz. If C is the speed of light in a vacuum, Estimate the wavelength of the power line and take it again. A power line has a frequency of 60 Hz. If C is the speed of light in a vacuum, estimate the wavelength of the power line. These are the options A. 5,000 kilometers, B, 6,000 kilometers, C, 7,000 kilometers, D, 8,000 kilometers. And the correct option is option A. When you use the expression C equals to F lambda. So you make lambda the subject of that expression and then substitute the value for C and the value of the frequency. You get your answer. Let's go to question 7. This one says, Estimate the wave number and the angular frequency of an electromagnetic wave if the wavelength is 10.6 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter. I take it again. Estimate the wave number and the angular frequency of an electromagnetic wave if the wavelength is 10.6 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter meter. These are the options. Okay. So the answer is C. 5.93 times 10 to the power 5 radians per meter and 1.77 times 10 to the power 14 radians per second. How did we get that? We applied the expression k equals to 2 pi over lambda for the wave number. So assuming we take pi to be 3.142 and the wavelength is given in this expression or in the equation, sorry, as 10.6 times 10 to the power minus 6. Just substitute that into this expression and simplify. You will get the value for the wave number. When you get that, you now use this expression to find the angular frequency. Omega equals to CK. C is the speed of light. And k is the value for the wave number. When you substitute those two expressions, you get the correct option C. Okay, so this one is just the meaning of what the expression is all about. Question 8. Which of the following members of electromagnetic spectrum are arranged in order of decreasing frequency. I take it again. Which of the following members of electromagnetic spectrum are arranged in order of decreasing frequencies? Let's look at the option. X-ray, radio wave, gamma ray, gamma ray, radio waves, x-ray, gamma ray, visible light, radio wave, radio wave, visible light, gamma ray. 
the question said which of the following members of the electromagnetic spectrum are arranged in order of decreasing frequency the correct option is option c gamma ray visible light radio wave this is more or less the same thing as saying order of increasing wavelength please if you are watching this channel right now and you are yet to subscribe this is what you will see please do us a favor by clicking on the subscribe button when you subscribe the subs subscription doesn't take much is it's just free just click on that button where you see the red button and the arrow when you click that this is what you will see it will now appear as subscribed thank you very much if you love what i am doing and you enjoy what we are doing please try to click on the subscribe button thank you so much let's continue question 9 one of the following is not correct about the maxwell's equation so it means one is wrong one of the following is not correct about the maxwell's equation it explains how electric current produce electric field and vice versa maxwell's equation describe how the electric field can create a magnetic field and vice versa the maxwell's equation predicts that a changing magnetic field produces an electric field while a changing electric field produces magnetic field it explains how photoelectrons can produce potential difference the correct option to this question is option d option d is out of point question 10 one of the following is not an application of microwaves one of the following is not an application of microwave radio detection and ranging transmitting of information in mobile phones cooker and ovens for cooking and baking to promote local blood circulation one of the following is not an application of microwaves. The correct option is D. Question 11. One of the following is not an importance of the UV ray, the ultraviolet ray. I take it again. One of the following is not an importance of the ultraviolet ray can lead to skin cancer and premature aging can introduce vitamin D in the human body helps the body absorb calcium and phosphorus from food and in bone development darkens the human skin one of the following is not an importance of the uv ray the correct option is a can lead to skin cancer and premature aging that is not an importance 
equation 12. Estimate the ener energy density. Estimate the energy density per unit area. Assuming the electric field is 100 volts per meter and magnetic field is given by 3.33 times 10 to the power minus 7 Tesla. The value of the permeability is given here. So you see the, the SI unit, newtons per amp, ampere meter newtons per ampere meter or newton per ampere square okay then the pi in that expression can be defined as 3.142 so the constant here is 4 pi times 10 to the power minus 7 the options 26.49 watt per meter square 4.43 watt per meter square 4.41 watt per meter square 13.26 watt per meter square which, which expression are we to use and what's the answer the correct answer is A 26.47 watt per meter square how did we get that? This is given. It's 100, not 100.01. 1. Please observe that. This is a typing error. Also, 100 volt per meter. Then B is given 3.33 times 10 to the power minus 7. And the constant, the energy density S, watt per meter square, or volt ampere per meter square. So which of this expression is correct? The unit. And then you use this expression, S equals to EB over mu naught. When you use this, substitute the value so I've told you to ignore this, this um, 0 0.1. This is not included in the equation. This was 100 volts per meter. So remove this. Then in place of E, you substitute 100. In place of B, substitute this value for B in Tesla, divided by the constant here. When you simplify it, it will give you option A as the correct option. I hope you're following what I'm trying to say. Okay, so thank you for watching Supreme Online Lectures. This is our home page. For those who are our subscribers, I say thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for watching this channel. I hope to see you in our next lecture. Have a wonderful day.